welcome back to the channel here. Today is Sunday, March 19th, 2023, and I wanted to do a brief little video here, walk around of Billie Jean. So you guys have been following the channel. This car was here two years ago. We put the frame together. We patched the lower quarters, and we did a complete paint job on it. Then it left, and it came back on February 4th for us to basically uh, button some stuff up. So there's a video we did then. Um, so I just wanted to recap because basically we're done working on this car. We, we fulfilled our commitment. So uh, total from February 4th till yesterday, we have approximately 200 man hours uh, in this car. It's about 190 or give or take a little bit. We've been hitting this thing hard on Saturdays, and out of those, what, six weeks, I think we, we didn't work on it two weekends, I believe, if I remember right. One for sure, maybe two. But we put 200 man hours in this thing. So I just wanted to show you guys that this stuff is not magic. It, like, this stuff takes time. A lot of tedious stuff, assembling, lining stuff up, trying to put the car back together without damaging anything, without scratching any paint. All that stuff takes time. Um, sanding a fender, you know, for primer or whatever, that's easy because you're not worried about damaging anything. But trying to line the hood up, putting the grill on, the chrome grill, which is chrome plated without chipping the chrome or anything like that. All that stuff is tedious. Probably the most tedious thing is putting in side glass. But um, just to recap what we've done since the last video, um, we ordered transmission coolant lines down here. They were kind of a direct fit uh, for a 700R conversion. I, I got them on eBay. Um, we ran that. We put electric fans, small electric fans too, I believe 16 inch with the uh, with the polished uh, fan shroud. So that had to be notched for the 500 gearbox. So the radiator itself clears the 500 gearbox, but the, the fan shroud did not. So that took work. We had to get aluminum, I mean, uh, radiator hoses. We had to order that. We put the pulley kit on. Um, what else did we do? We put the, the front end has halo lights, halo headlights in the front. Uh, so we wired those up. Those are a whole different ball game from the typical headlights um, on the brakes. So we were missing the part. We were missing the uh, push rod extension, which goes basically between the brake booster and the, and the master cylinder. So we had to wait on that. That set us back a week waiting on that one single part. So we bled the brakes. Uh, we bench bled the master cylinder. We vacuum bled all the lines it's got four wheel disc brakes so it should be ready to go we got the motor running so it fires right up uh, we haven't test drove it yet that's we're gonna leave that for him um, when the car showed up the hinges were stuck so we took them off there's a short clip I posted on Instagram Engineering? Engineering? Uh, they taught you that in college? Yeah. Oh. They got a two-year degree? Two years? Yeah. Took you two years to figure that out? <laughs> Alright. What else did they teach you? I'll be an all-rider. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Got a lot of got a lot of comments on the method we used for that, but it works and it took 30 seconds to put the springs on. So maybe I'll show a link uh, or show a little clip of that when we edit this video. Um, outside of that, we can come around here, kind of eyeballed, eyeballed an alignment. Of course, we don't have an alignment machine here, so we can't align it, but we kind of eyeballed the tie rods, at least where it'll, it'll roll. Um, we put the side glass in, so we put all the stainless molding on. So when this car, when this car showed up, it didn't have any of the moldings on. Uh, so we put all those on. We assembled the, when I say we, I'm talking about me and my buddy, 
Johnny with the former Red 64. He put the vent windows together. These were triple chrome plated, so they came in pieces. So he assembled those. The door glass is a reproduction. The quarter glass, um, I'm not sure if they reproduce that or not. Anyway, so the car didn't have any uh, door guts, any window regulators, any window tracks, didn't have any of that. So all that had to be sourced out and found. So he brought it to us and we, we got the, all the side glass in. This is extremely tedious to, to try and get this side glass to line up, especially on a convertible. Um, and that's without the top. So that's a whole nother ball game, hoping the top lines up with this. Um, after that, after we put the side glass in, we put the door panels on. Um, so this is Ciadella interior kit and it uses, uh, I assume reproduction top rails. So those, those of you guys out here building these cars, uh, it's, it's worth the money to get original top rails for your interior panels. Um, or hopefully find a car that has the original top rails because those do make a difference in the way that door panels fit. Um, these took some finessing to get these things to line up and to, to fit. Um, so like I say, it didn't have any door guts, no locks, no locking mechanism, no regulators, no tracks, no nothing. So we, start, we had to start from scratch. Um, we finished that up yesterday. Uh, car has all new weather strip. And then as far as the interior, we didn't do the interior. We don't do upholstery, but we did put it in. I mean, we just kind of, you know, bolted it on. It's got an identical steering column. It's got a Dakota digital dash, which, um, so all the, all the gauges work. The gas gauge works. We tested that yesterday. It's got about a quarter of a tank of gas. Oil pressure is good. Um, what else is on there? Uh, the volts. The volts work. So everything works uh, like it should. And like I say, the car has halo halo headlights and LED tail lights. We'll show those in a second here. Uh, it's got the, the Bel Air floor mats. And uh, oh, the headlights. Are they on? So I think these are those are called octane headlights, octane lights, or something like that. And they're super bright. I like them. Uh, I'm not a fan of the actual halo, that's personal opinion, but I, I do like the brightness of the lights. And we hooked them up so they alternate, if you want to stay at the, at the front there, we'll, we'll show the turn signals. So the way the turn signals work is they alternate with the parking lights. And bright lights should work. And then around to the back here. Uh, got LED tail lights, which those were kind of plug and play. They plug into the American Auto Wire kit, the sockets, they just it's just plug and play. Uh, Mr. Johnny made the third brake light, uh, third brake light. He custom makes those out of LEDs. I'll show you how it works. So the American Auto Wire uses a, I believe it's a blue wire from the from the uh, fuse block, specifically for third brake light. If you wanted to add one, so that's a key that's a key feature for the American Auto Wire. If you wanted to add a third brake light. So like I say, he custom makes those. You guys can hit him up on Instagram. Uh, I believe his name is Red Rocket sixty four. Custom makes those for multiple years and it's pretty good pretty pretty cool little feature uh, around to this side like i say the door glass took, took some time lining up but it's on door panel took some time as well uh, but everything functions as it should door locks so the car is not com completely 100% finished, but we fulfilled our commitment. I think he's gonna get some stereo work done, which we put the side panels in, the kick panels down there with the little composite speakers. Um, but I think he's gonna get some stereo work done. And uh, top rack. So I'm gonna paint the top rack for him. 
Uh, but I'm, we're not going to install the convertible top. We don't, we don't do that. Uh, I know a lot of guys watch the channel. They think we do everything under the sun, but, but the reality is, no, we don't. We do farm out some stuff like upholstery work, convertible tops. We don't mess with that stuff. But outside of that, I mean, we, we do almost everything else, uh, you know, outside of powder coating and chrome plating. So this car is filthy right now, but like I say, I just want to do a little quick video. This stuff does not happen overnight. Like I said, we got almost 200 man hours since the time he dropped it off in, in putting, assembling this car. Um, I think assembling the car is harder than painting the car. Like painting the car is easy. It's putting the car back together without scratching, chipping, putting dents. That's what takes time. And uh, it's a lot of work. And not to mention everything right now is like double or triple the cost. Like everything is through the roof um, as far as like weather strip, man, repop trim. Everything is, is double the price of what it should be. So it's extremely expensive to build one of these. And uh, takes time and money but i hope you guys like this update so this car should be getting out of here um you know probably within the next week or so and then gonna be back on the 60 and then in a couple weeks i think bobby's gonna bring his car finally Boop. yeah i'm pretty sure he's excited about that hope he's ready to buy lunch and beer <laughs> but so that car should be coming here the next month that's gonna get a lot of metal work done a lot of it's gonna be a full build so if you guys liked the little update, stay tuned uh, for more work. Thanks for watching.